What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make your own cartoon profile picture like the one right here. Now this is going to be a very simple tutorial and we're only going to be using one tool which is called the pen tool. And once you finish watching this video, you will know how to use the pen tool and you'll be able to make literally any shape you want in Photoshop. This is just going to be showing you how to, you know, trace someone's face to make your own cartoon profile picture. But once you have this skill, you can use the pen tool for a variety of things. And before we begin, remember to leave a like down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create the face of this person right here. So you want to go ahead and have your own picture ready. Make sure it's high quality then go to file and open and open up your file. And then you want to go ahead and click on the normal pen tool. Now we're going to press control plus or command plus if you're on Mac and zoom up because you want to get every single detail of the face in your profile picture. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to use the pen tool. Now the pen tool is consisted of making a lot of different anchor points and having lines connect between them. It's like connect the dots, but also including curves. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on the bottom of his chin and we are going to create this anchor point over here. Now the next thing you want to do is find out where the curve ends. So this is actually a really big curve it ends over here closer to his cheekbone and we're going to click again to create another anchor point and then we're going to drag while keeping it clicked to create a curve. I'm not sure if you guys can see it that well but as you can see I can actually make a curve and we're going to match it up to his jawline and then we're going to let go of the click and a curve is going to be formed that's going to match along his face. Now. All you have to do is continue this around the whole face. So what we're going to do is create another point where the curve ends over here. But if you notice, what happens is a curve automatically forms and continues from the previous curve. And we don't want this. We want to have a fresh curve that we can mold ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. And what you want to do is once you create your curve, you want to press Alt and click on the middle anchor point. So press Alt, then click. And then if we click over here and try to create a new curve, it'll be a straight line and we can modify it in any way that we want. And as you can see, the curve will fit along the face. So to recap, all you want to do is click on the start of a curve, click on the end of the curve, and then align it by dragging. And then you want to let go, press Alt, and then click the end of the next curve, drag, let go, click Alt, and then you want to find the end of the next curve, click, drag, let go. And you can do this around the entire face. Now remember, it's okay to you know, take your time and do slow curves, especially around you know the ear. There's multiple little curves if you want to get it as accurate as possible. Don't be afraid to zoom in a lot. You want to make this very accurate. And there's also a couple other things you can do. You can always redrag these uh, anchor points if you want to modify the curve. So you would go ahead and you would go over here and then you would click on add anchor point and you can add an anchor point and then you can drag it and modify your curve like so. I don't know why you'd want to do that to him, but that's another option you have. You can also delete anchor points. So I could always delete this anchor point over here and it will actually shorten the curve. But that's the basis of the pen tool. That's literally everything you need to know. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and continue with the rest of his face. Now another tip if there's parts where you want to actually trace and you can't see underneath the layer because a shape is being created you can always just change the opacity and lower it and then you can see where you have to add your next anchor point like so and then you can click and drag and just continue making the rest of the face and then put the opacity back up and continue. So as you can see, I did a very, very rough attempt at recreating his face using the pen tool. And if you want, you can actually do the rest of his face. You can do his hair, his neck, his shirt. And you can also apply the exact same concept to any of his facial features. Now what I usually do is I create a path around the nose and then do the eyebrows and lips and don't do the eyes because I feel like that looks really weird. And I really like that simple look, but you could also do the eyes if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is go ahead 
and quickly do a trace of his hair. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer, go back to the pen tool, switch up our color, and his hair is more of a brown color, like so. Click OK, and then get right back into using the pen tool. So we have just finished the hair as well and as you can see it's not super accurate because you can't really get the hair down to the strand and you want to make it look simple but it still looks like a human face with human hair and now we're going to do the exact same thing with the neck and the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead, go on the pen tool, I'm going to make sure I create a new layer, I'm going to select the color of his neck and I'm going to make it a little bit darker than his skin tone just so that there is more accuracy with the lighting. And I think that's a good tone and I'm going to quickly make his neck and his shirt as well. So as you can see, I have recreated his neck and he's looking very fresh. And the next thing I'm going to do is move this layer to the bottom because his neck is behind his head and I want it to appear to be that way in the final picture as well. And now I'm going to quickly do a trace of his shirt. I'm not gonna do the collar or anything. I'm just going to be doing a plain white shirt going around him. And so let's do that right now. And we are done the shirt. And if you guys haven't noticed, I have been doing a little bit of overlapping when tracing. So for example, when I did the shirt, I actually traced it a little bit over the neck. Or when I did the neck, I traced it a little bit over the head. And this is because when you move the layers and you finish making it, these overlaps are actually going to close in on one, one another. So you're not going to see the overlap. But it's better to have an overlap than to have empty space. Because say I missed the shirt by a little bit and I went underneath the outline of the neck, there's going to be a weird gap. So it's better to overlap it and then adjust the layers because then you won't see the overlap. Now the final thing I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is just creating a new layer and I'm going to be making the color the same as the background color and I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangular background like so and then I'm going to make sure it's in the right spot and that is our profile picture. Now like I said if you guys wanted to you could always go ahead and add the eyebrows and the face and the mouth. But this is basically the element you need to know. You have to know how to use the pen tool, how to work with each layer, and then you can make something as cool as this in under 10 minutes. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. The final thing you wanna do is go ahead, go to file, save as, and save the image as a PNG or JPEG. But yeah, that's all for this tutorial. You can take the same skills I just taught you and do the eyebrows and nose and mouth. But I think this simple version looks really cool. It's really easy. And you can learn in literally under 10 minutes and make something that you can use as a profile picture or a logo but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out <laughs>